Today is the day. I've waited six whole months to see her. I know she is miserable down there with that cold-blooded brute. She needs her mother's love. Everything is ready for her, too. The rivers are back flowing. Her favorite flowers are blooming. The seasons, spring and summer, are just perfect. I'm going to cherish these next six months with her. I wish there was a way, though, that I could keep her here with me forever. But I know Hades would never let that happen. But what right does he have? That's my daughter. I have every say in what she can and cannot do. Who am I kidding? I have no power over the God of the underworld, the almighty Hades. But now is not the time to mourn on the inevitable. This is supposed to be a happy day. She will be here any minute now, and she will be receiving a warm welcome from the beautiful green grass, colorful flowers, and her animal friends. My heart is pounding. I hear the gates of the underworld opening. The ground cracks, and up appears my whole life, my heart in human form. It's my baby girl. We lock eyes and begin to run to each other. Tears fall and smiles rise. Our embrace is so strong that I can barely breathe, but I don't want to stop holding her. Do you have any idea what it feels like to have to spend six cold months without your purest life source, knowing that she is somewhere miserable, missing you just as much as you miss her? And to make the matters worse, you can't do anything about it. Absolutely nothing. We both get up with tears down our cheek. There is a quick moment of silence until it is broken by Hades himself roaring. Your time starts now. My baby and I enjoy every moment of our time together as the gentle night skies seal each day. Baby after baby. He locked you away, mother. That's your problem should have never been my responsibility to clean up. I've killed my own father, and now I'm cursed. One of my children will overthrow me. The thought of it happening creeps and crawls under my skin like a thief in the night. This is a mess. Can you imagine how it feels to swallow your own children whole? Can you imagine how it feels to not be able to watch your children grow up to become something great? No, you can't. Why me? I want a family, a huge family filled with love and happiness. But no, it had to be me. Did you ever wonder how my life's been? Depression, anxiety, failure, hatred, death has been written over my life. Every day and every night, I've cried myself to sleep, telling myself that I am nothing, telling myself that I have no meaning. You know what? I'm tired of it. I'm tired of running. The day I get overthrown by my children is the day I will come for you. I will find you and I will kill you. You started this mother and I will finish it. What if they attack? I should be able to handle them. Matter of fact, I can handle them. I'm the daughter of Zeus and Medes. I'm the patron deity for the city of Athens, which was named after me. I'm the goddess of war and wisdom. I can use my wisdom to get out of my mindless warrior state. But what if I kill my people like I did in the Trojan War? I really don't want that to happen again. Zeus will never trust me again. The people will understand my viciousness during war, right? No, they won't. They'll just think I'm a ruthless, uncaring, mindless drone. But then again, I can't let them be killed by Sparta if they attack. Just breathe, Athena. You got this. I'll just tell them, if you see me with red and black eyes, run to shelter and don't look back. Yeah, that will totally work. Yeah, I can do this. Just be your confident self, Athena. You got this. This plan will totally work. I mean, you are the goddess of wisdom. Everything I strategize works out 100% of the time. You think me, Eros, God of love and beauty, and the son of Aphrodite could easily find love. But you are wrong. I do not know why, but I would surely would like to know. I sit to myself thinking, why? Why can't I be loved? But that all changed when I met Psyche. Psyche was a beautiful mortal whom I was sent to kill as men desire for by the order of my own mother. I could not do so, for I was mesmerized by her beauty myself. In order for us to be in love, she could not see my face, and we could only see each other at night. That all changed when she betrayed my love by seeing my face and trying to murder me. 
Apparently she thought I was some terrible, ugly beast that will soon kill her. I flew away in distraught. She begged my mother to let me see her once again, and she sent her on three impossible tasks to prove her love. After passing her first two tasks, my mother decided she had enough. She sent her to Hades, god of the underworld with an elixir of beauty that she was told not to open. She went to Hades, and despite my mother's warning, she opened it anyway, and she fell into a deep sleep. I heard what happened, and I rushed to Zeus and told him about the situation. Amazed by our love, Zeus turned Psyche immortal, and we lived happily ever after.